Hi, today we are going to talk about magnesium. Magnesium as a metal and its alloys. Magnesium is the 11th most abundant element in our human body. Yes. And it has many, many, many medical applications. But today we are not going to be talking about that at all. We are not going to be talking about human body or medicine. We are going to be talking about magnesium as a metal and as an alloy. The symbol of magnesium is Ng. The atomic number is 12. Oh, boring, boring, boring. Who wants to know that? But did you know magnesium is the eighth most abundant metal in the Earth's crust? Can you believe it? And it is not even used that much. Magnesium is found in 60 elements like dolomite, magnetite, talc, which are highly used. And there are many, many such more. But these are the ones which are used more to extract magnesium. Magnesium and its alloys are the lightest structural metal available in the crust of Earth. There are so many applications and new and upcoming applications of magnesium that all the manufacturers are using because of its low density and lightweight. Do you know magnesium is two third lighter than aluminum? It is so light and it is also used with aluminium as an alloy. Aluminium gives the strength to magnesium. That's why you will see many magnesium alloys with aluminium. There are very, very many applications like automotives, aircrafts, engines, drones, mobile phones, etc. Many, many such more. And there are even more and more applications coming in. Everybody thinks magnesium is a very expensive alloy. Okay, maybe. But can we calculate this? Do you see this table? In this table, we have clearly mentioned that magnesium, steel and copper comparison. Now we will take an industry standard for this, okay? Now the density of steel is 7.9, whereas the density of copper is 8.9 and the density of magnesium is 1.7. When you see that, when you compare a standard sheet of 1 meter by 1 meter, a steel sheet would weigh around 8 kgs. Copper would weigh around 9 kgs. And can you see magnesium? The weight, 1.8 kgs. Now, okay, magnesium is expensive. Let's put a price there. Let's we put a standard average price in Indian rupees, okay? Say steel costs 500 rupees a kilo. Copper costs 900 rupees a kilo. Magnesium will cost you something around 3,500 to 4,000 rupees a kilo, right? Now let's multiply this with the weight of the same sheet. What do you see? The price of steel is 4,000. The price of copper is 8,100 for one sheet of the same size. And the price of magnesium is only 8,000. So do you see the magic here? The magic is in the numbers here. Do you think still magnesium is expensive? No, it's not. Now imagine you have a same product in magnesium or in copper or steel and it weighs one fifth. Can you imagine it weighs one fifth? Can you imagine your phones? If they did not have magnesium in it, they would be weighing five times. Can you imagine that your, the weight of your phone five times? With the thought, my pants are falling down. Can you imagine it? I can't imagine this. Rechargeable batteries. Everybody today uses rechargeable batteries, whether it's phones, whether it's drones, or whether it's an electric vehicle, laptop, or anything, right? Everybody needs a rechargeable battery in today's time. In the rechargeable battery, it is lithium ion that is highly used. Now, the world is trying to do research on magnesium and its alloys to replace lithium ion as a product. Can you imagine why? Of course, because it's in abundance. Huge amount of magnesium is available in the crust of earth. If they are successful, the cost of your batteries are gonna drop like amazing, like amazing. And it's in abundance, so you don't have to worry about the natural resources getting over. Do you know there is magnesium in the stars? Oh no, I'm not talking about the Bollywood stars. Leave the Khans alone. I'm talking about the stars which are in the galaxy. The amount of magnesium that is converted in this galaxy is unbelievable. Every supernova that explodes leaves a huge amount of magnesium in the galaxy. Because of which, we know that one more application is absolutely available for this, which is emergency fires, which are used at fire stations or places where in ships. So magnesium is highly used there. Okay, we think magnesium is a new alloy. It's, up, it's an upcoming alloy, yes, but it's not a new alloy. Magnesium is used since the World War II. 
in the world war 2 they had used torpedoes they had used submarines they had used uh, bombs containing magnesium applications there are so so many various applications of uh, magnesium and its alloys combustion engines aircraft drones mobile phones tablets rechargeable batteries camera camera bodies because it's very light anything you need to make light structural parts you can use magnesium even weighing scales are using magnesium to make it very light anything that is pocket friendly you can just keep it in the pocket and go uh, your smart watches everything has magnesium in it today because it's the lightest structural alloy once again to know more about these alloys and magnesium and its alloys please write to us or visit our website i have provided the links below we have quite a few grades of magnesium available with us in stock to help you out to do your research to for your production to do any kind of trials we are always there to support you bye bye guys this is signing off kerala domadia from dali electric do not forget to subscribe and like our channel thank you so much